All right, we're going to get right into it. Um, a little before we started, uh, NBC News decided to announce that uh, our president, Donald Trump, will uh, declare national emergency. I've never been a part of that. I guess the last time that it happened was uh, during Obama's uh, presidency uh, for like influenza or the swine flu or something like that. Um, so what do you guys thought about it? It's pretty crazy. National emergency. I think everybody is just kind of getting a little bit ahead of themselves. I don't think that is as bad as, well, I'm not going to say as bad because there are people getting sick and yeah. some deaths, I guess. But, yeah. you know, we, it's just another case of just like over the football season when uh, everybody was making a big deal about the mosquitoes and games was getting canceled. It's yeah. just, that's what we do. It's, it's hysteria. And, you know, especially on a state level where, you know, they can shut things down and get grants and all kind of money from yeah. the federal government. You know, they're going to take advantage of that. So I don't think that people need to be as worried as they are. But, you know, yeah. you know how things go. I, I, just before we continue, I didn't mean to be rude, but I do have two guests with me now. Uh, surprisingly, I have two guests, all thanks to Mr. Link. Mr. Link is one of our guests. Link, say what up. I know you already talked. What up? What up? And then we got my boy Maz. No um, so Maz, what what are your thoughts about it? <clears throat> My thoughts about this whole um, uh, state of emergency thing is that uh, the public and the news uh, are doing very good with notifying the public, but they're also doing good with like uh, bringing fear with uh, the statements that they put out because uh, obviously people are scared, so they're gonna take the precautions that they need to, and everybody's trying to protect their family because. Nobody wants to see their older loved ones die. Yeah. We I, I, I kind of think about it like this, though. Okay, so just today in school in particular, there's a ton of people who are checking out of school yeah. for whatever reasons. They're nervous. Mm -hmm. Where are they going? They're leaving school and they're hitting the streets, going and doing their yeah. regular life things. Like, yeah. it's, it's not really like we're we're quarantining, you know. We're right. doing what we have to do. Like, if we were if we really cared about trying to not get others sick we would be leaving school or leaving our jobs doing whatever and going home and just being at home but it's like again just like with most things people are looking at this as an opportunity to get a little extra free time for themselves and you know probably going out and putting themselves in even more of a position yeah. to get sick yeah mm -hmm. and um just the amount of like just a big effect that this has had on like specifically the world of sports but now like a lot of other things like schools shutting down and stuff like that um recently obviously like i said i'll be had... so pissed if the school shuts down yeah link's not <laughs> yeah link's not gonna get paid if school shuts down so you know i gotta i gotta recoup the money for these oh my god <laughs> <laughs> yeah cut that out i have to beat that but yeah i gotta recoup the money for these mics so we don't need to be shutting down the school <laughs> yeah no time soon yeah but um you know, like, yeah, the NBA uh, postponed their season. Um, the Masters, one of the biggest golfing events. I don't watch golfing. Who really does? Except, if, you know, if you're not, like, 60 Grandfathers. Plus. Yeah. Um, but they uh, they postponed the Masters, which is, like, one of the biggest golfing tournaments ever. Um, let's see what else. The NHL postponed their season. The MLB is pushing back uh, opening day till like, May. Uh, it usually starts, like, the beginning of April. Um and I think the biggest thing that, like, hasn't really been talked about when it comes to sports being shut down is the people that work, uh, like, you know, that aren't really recognized. You know, like, the players are going to be fine, the coaches, the staffs, everybody's going to be fine. But what about, like, the people that, you know, really get paid to be a vendor or to, you know, like, concession stands, stuff like that, you know? Well, shout out to Mark Cuban. Um, the yeah. owner of the Dallas Mavericks because yeah. I, um, I was him and Kevin to Love. Kevin. Kevin Love gave out a hundred thousand dollars. He donated a hundred thousand dollars to like all the staff members. Yeah, but that's one thing to to make a donation of a hundred thousand. I'm not taking nothing away yeah. from that. Big ups to Kevin Love for that. But Mark right. Cuban, the entire time when these games are going to be postponed and not played, he's going to be paying his vendors. Yeah, for the. Uh, for the stadium concession, so yeah, and he's like a millionaire, so he's a billionaire, billionaire. Yeah, 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 he's super billionaire, yeah. So, 
credit to him because mm-hmm. I don't I haven't seen or heard too many other of these pro sports um, owners stepping up to the plate like him. So you know if you're gonna if you're gonna shut it down, then you gotta at least look for a way for these people to get their money because I mean it's it's gonna it's gonna hurt our economy yeah. big time, especially in some of those cities where like the um, NCAA tournament was mm-hmm. where they're expecting that revenue. Yeah, like that's gonna hurt. Yeah, and yeah. and just to be. It's it's funny to me that this is uh, this is the case, but the only owner that decided to play games with fans still in attendance is guess who? The Knicks owner, James Dolan, one of the most greedy owners. He's an idiot. Yeah, <laughs> everybody else was for the whole like no fans stuff, but I mean, we are talking about the guy who kicked, tried to kick Spike Lee out of Madison Square Garden. I know. So, yeah. I mean, he's an idiot. Maz, jump in here, bro. What are you, what are you thinking? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm really haven't been hip to anything that's going on in the basketball world right now. But like, as far as like coronavirus and stuff, like uh, yeah, as far as coronavirus, uh, I don't know what Rudy Gobert would, did. No, I know, I, I know. Pretty, he was he's so stupid. It was a little childish for his age. What he when he like wiped yeah, the mics, he touched all the yeah. mics and stuff. Like I don't the, know. little childish, but other than that, like I don't know. It's not like he knew we had it at the time. Well, at least we don't know, but... Yeah, there's no excuse, though. You yeah, still yeah. know there's a sickness going around. you got to be careful with that kind of stuff. Fact. I mean, it's... I, if he did it before he knew, then I can't fault him. Because, you know, every, he's everybody jokes around a little bit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like if you were ever sick and you play around with, like, a family member or a friend or something like that, yeah. you cough and then... You know what I'm saying? So yeah. he, he, I could understand him joking around like that. But if he had it and he knew he had it already and did that, yeah. he need to get shot. I'm yeah. sorry. Like, yo, yeah. You can't be yeah. wiping I, your head. I tweeted out uh, a couple of days ago that when they like when they start resuming play, whenever that will be, Rudy Gobert is going to be the most hated person in the NBA. I know that like he's a cool guy, I'm sure. It's not person, his fault. But I know, I know. But you know how fans can be. They'll boo him. And I was like, maybe even his own like crowd will boo him. Because like, look what you did! Like, he got sick. You can't. I know. Mm-hmm. I know. I get that. I'm yeah, just he only, saying. He though. only did get Donovan Mitchell sick. Well, at all the people, yeah, that's their, that's their all star the player that, that they tested though. At all the people that they tested. I mean, I I wouldn't blame him if I was a Utah fan. You know, I mean, I of course the idiot. Well, I'm not calling you an idiot. No, but, <laughs> like the idiots out there who like are gonna blame anybody for you know what I'm saying for everything. Like it's it's out of his control. The, yeah. the dude got sick, but like, I I mean, I want to know what what how the hell did he get it? Yeah. I don't know. Like out of all the players in the NBA, how did he get it? And you know, how was he the 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 monkey? You know, the outbreak monkey yeah, of know. the NBA. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a good question. I don't know, but like mm-hmm. the. The butterfly effect that like he's had, like he got sick, and then the NBA canceled, the NHL canceled, like everything would just started going, like everybody yeah. just got super like paranoid and stuff. It's crazy it's because everybody's scared. I know. It, I don't know. Like I was at first, I was like that person to be like, ah, eh, it's whatever. Like like how you are, Link. But I don't know. Like after everything that's happened the past like couple days or the past like forty eight hours, it's I've gotten a little serious about it. You got to get serious. You know, again, when it comes to people getting sick and, you know, money being lost and, you know, for you, it's your senior year, things are getting canceled out. You yeah. know, these are... Oh, there you go, Mass. Nice job, Mass. This is, this is the okay. time of, of your high school career, I guess, if you want to call it that. You should be really yeah putting a stamp on those memories and yeah this is kind of putting a damper to what yeah. you're trying to do so i can understand people in your shoes kind of not really messing with what's going on but to everybody else i mean this is just it's just another thing that we deal with you know first again during during the fall it was mosquitoes you know the before zika that virus, it's yeah. zika then h1n1 it's, it's, <laughs> it's always something like there's always gonna be that that thing that people that gets people riled up and you know it's just now with social media and how instant the access and the news is to everything mm-hmm. it just is everything's going to get blown out of proportion yeah. and again especially when you got the federal government giving out millions in relief funds yeah these people are looking for reasons it, to shut things down yeah. and it goes to show how big of an impact like social media has on something like this 
because when the whole like h1n1 whatever it is is like uh i don't know it, it, like i didn't know about it so you know and now everybody knows about this coronavirus thing because of you know like social media and stuff like that it's not for nothing and i know we're gonna go into the next topic mm-hmm. but um coronavirus ain't new i yeah. know everybody's just hearing mm-hmm. about it but the lysol can specifically state that they killed the germs for the coronavirus yeah, so if okay. if they knew about it then we should have known about it it's right. just nobody knows no, nobody wanted to know about it until it became this mass hysteria yeah. so and okay so if it if it does get too serious this is the next topic but if it does get too serious like what what then you know what i mean like if it the if, walking dead yeah <laughs> Yeah, Yo. I I saw something. It was stupid because like it, it was obviously fake, but um, like there was like a post and it was somebody explaining like what an Uber driver told them, and like it was like oh if two thousand to two thousand uh, five hundred people get killed over the, like the summer because of Corona, like Trump is gonna like shut down the, the entire U.S. and like everybody's gotta stay in their homes and stuff like that and. Like nobody's allowed to go outside and stuff. Which Good again, luck with that. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't believe that. I don't. Good luck shutting everything down. <laughs> okay, schools, work, colleges. Good luck shutting all that down, and then taking away all of the things that people do while they're shut down. Right. Like typically, you know, when there's a work stoppage for a sporting event or something of that nature, typically, you know baseball they go on strike not that anybody watches baseball anyways but if they do yeah. oh, all right i'll just i'll watch hockey or i'll watch i'll watch basketball yeah. i'll watch whatever i mean everything's shut down you can't even go to the movies you can't do anything so now you are gonna go back to like the 1930s where yeah. people, and you're like, stuck in constant fear yeah. now because you don't have anything to take your mind off of you want to go read a book do you but i'm not Hell doing that no. i know play I'm not. board games right uh, yeah no thanks <laughs> sorry <laughs> make a couple different guys on my ps4 or something yeah <laughs> yeah a couple of my players on 2k yeah. yeah i don't know man i just like i said it, it's hysteria i think we're getting a little carried away with canceling as many things as we're canceling because you can't just sit in the house and do nothing do you think there's a chance it gets too serious no why yeah because we've been here and we've done this i think personally <clears throat> excuse me i think personally that we've already been down this path with other illnesses yeah. or whatnot and yeah. it's just again like the media covers like we're sitting at fhs right now doing this podcast we got all this nice equipment and we can go out to the world right now if we wanted to and we're just talking about the little bit that we know mm. so you got people in positions who know a lot more than us and can get information out there and use it to their benefit and we're in a time period, again, where you put one little piece of information out there and you're going to get the masses all, you know, in a tizzy about something that really isn't that serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. think about it. 30 years ago, you know, when I was 12. Nice. <laughs> you know, when people got sick. For those got, that don't know math, he's 42. Yeah, I'm <laughs> getting up there. But when people got sick, you got sick, you dealt with it. You know, stay home, took some medicine, mm-hmm. ginger ale, yeah. and, and that was it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, in 2020, people shouldn't be worried about viruses and things like that. Yeah, we, we should have. There's too much technology. There's to way not. too much technology. And I'm saying, like, I know right now, if you tried to go to the hospital and get tested for the coronavirus, it ain't going to happen. Mm-hmm. They ain't going to do it. But I think it's funny that 60 people in the Utah Jazz organization got that test immediately yeah 60 of them so like i said it's it's all about money if you got the money then you could put yourself in a position to basically get anything done so you brought up a good point earlier that um magic johnson got lucky because of the money he had because when he had aids he was fine they let him play in the Mm -hmm. nba that season that yeah that that same same season season. yeah so and and that was hiv yeah and during a time period where it was like there was no oh no you got that back then you were dead. Yeah. You, you might as well yeah. pack it in. And he looks healthier now right. than he did back then. You know, okay. put on about 50 pounds, you know, still making crazy money doing it. Just, he just kept on business as usual. And that's with the HIV virus. So I just feel like this Corona thing, it's going to, it's going to pass. You know, 
woke, woke. It won't pass soon, though. Nah, because people are going to use this to their benefit. Hmm. Again, like, you already have people, you know, not people, but states or whatever cities putting in for some type of federal relief because of states of emergencies and whatnot. So it's like people are going to use things like this to their advantage and you know they'll drag it out as long as possible until they can get whatever they need out of it and it'll be to the detriment of the rest to the rest of us because like you know like us we're here today we came to school ready to play basketball today yeah. after school in a, in a faculty game and i was going to drop 30 yes you know i was going to drop like you know five and, and maybe and maybe 11 assists you know <laughs> what i'm saying you get on my region on rondo but <laughs> probably can't even do that now and what so we can just go home and, like, I can go find something else to do, you know, mm-hmm. go to the mall or something and put myself even more at risk of catching something, you know, or just go sit at home. Like, that's what we're going to turn to, just people that just go sit at home and do nothing all day. Right. Like, that's what kind of society we're going to turn into. Like, if that's what it is, I'd rather get corona and die. <laughs> yeah. I'm being I that you. serious. Like, if, if, if it's a difference between living life and enjoying myself and maybe catching something, maybe not. Or sitting in my house and not having an existence, I'll take my chances. Yeah. Mass? Uh, I don't know. To be honest with I know I heard more from you knocking the microphone than actually words coming out your mouth, boy. My, my fault. My fault. It was an accident. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> nah, but I, I'm not really scared of the coronavirus because my, 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 mom, my mom's a nurse and she tells me that like we, we should be fine. Because we're pretty far away from it, and uh, she thinks that the government is doing a good job, or a better job to keep it concealed, like, away from, like, the public. Yeah, they're just making sure all the older people and the, and the people they want to get out of here get it. It's population control. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I was going to bring that up. You said earlier that it was just population control. I think that's getting into like conspiracy theory. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of things. Yo, there's a lot of things out here that's just population control. It just it might not seem like it because it's innocent, but yeah. it's population control. And they don't want all these people to think about it. The it's people, all old people. That's what I'm saying. And, and who takes care of old people? Like if you're, in, which a lot of us aren't in a position where we're gonna get older, our parents are gonna get older, and we can take care of them, move them in, and take care. Who's taking care of old people? Yeah, the government. Yeah. You think they want to do that? No. Hell no. So they're going to do whatever they can to make sure that, you know, cut some of those losses. Yeah. And if that means, you know, 200,000 old people in America got to get the coronavirus and die, mm, sorry. You lived a good life. You lived a good life. You did 70, 80 years, whatever it is. Some people get into like 110. Yeah. I mean, I don't even think I want to live into the hundreds. I'm good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's just. That's not a staple. What? That's not on your bucket list. To live to a hundred. To a hundred. What's the point? No, everybody around me's dead. Like be a vegetable no. <laughs> for the next what? I could barely get up out of bed now. Right. But but you could be healthy throughout. You you know your lifetime, your experience. Okay. And Honestly, I played football until I was thirty eight years old. I'm not gonna be <laughs> loving life when I'm eighty years old. Okay. I'm gonna yeah. be hurting. I'm gonna be asking God to Truth- come get me. Truthfully, I'm good after seventy. You can you can take my life after I'm seventy. I'm yeah. good. Seventy years, I'm. Good. I ain't gonna put it like that. I'm gonna say if nah, it I'm, happens, it happens. I'm gonna put, you know, put it like that. Don't take nothing. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm good with seventy. I don't care. Nah, my good age is probably around sixty-five. You want to go after sixty-five? Man, that's too close to me, man. Are you talking yes. 24 years? Man, like, I'm, I'm trying to get to 65 and retire, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, no, no. I, I'm I'm good after like 70. Like Jack. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, I think 70 is a good age. Because you've already lived life. Right. Yeah, you're retired, hopefully. Unless I got, like, grandkids or something like that. Then I want to, like, wait until they grow up, too. But that's all. You're not going to care about that when you get to the age. I'm I'm sure. But now. You'll be like those darn little kids. Yeah. <laughs> Always asking me for a dollar. <laughs> 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 that's how it be that's how it used to be with my grandma all the time ask granddaddy can I get a dollar <laughs> grandpa Jack can I get a dollar like, get away from me get that's away. what it's, that's what you dirty little gonna, kids yeah. I'm I'm not even gonna know their names at the time like I don't plan on <laughs> knowing their names you're gonna be um you're gonna be tucked away in your bunker cause in in the year 2062 um 
you know, the way things are going now, people mm-hmm. aren't even going to be allowed to leave their homes. It's going to be like, uh, what's that movie with, um, I don't know, this might predate you guys a little bit, but it was a movie with, uh, I think it was Sylvester Stallone. Already know. Well, no, no, I'm going to tell you the movie right now. It was uh, like the people were just being at homes and they would put on like these goggle things and like there would be a virtual them living their life because they were all about germs and stuff like that. That's so, kind of cool. No, it's not. <laughs> All right, never mind. I take that back. No, watch the movie and see the sex scene. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Why? What are we doing here? Like, like I said, if it gets to that point, just yeah. kill me. Yeah, it's if, getting scary. If I can't enjoy the little things in life, what's the point? Yeah. That that would be so bad though. Have J- and Jack really thought it was a good idea. I. It sounded cool. <laughs> and then everybody's going to be fat slobs who can barely walk because they all they That's do like a, is sit in a recliner Wally. all day. What's, yeah, Wally. That's Wally. like Wally. Yeah, Everybody see? got fat. They're yeah. living on a spaceship. Yeah, see? That's what I'm saying. That's what it's going to turn into. Everybody's going to be fat slobs with virtual reality glasses. All led by Elon Musk. Yep. <laughs> Elon Musk has taken over the world. Man. Him and the dude for Virgin. Virgin Mobile. Oh, yeah. You know no what idea. I'm talking about? Yeah. He's he's wild. No that man, be, yo, he makes airplanes that fly to space. Yeah. He's, and Virgin he, Mobile is like a it was like a phone company at one nah, point. Nah, Virgin, it's it's Virgin is the company, but they do cell phones, they do airplanes, they do um, cruise ships. I'm just saying, they that do everything. I knew them as just a phone yeah, just a phone company. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, me too. Nah, that dude, he's yo, he's trying to. I mean, one of his spaceships already blew up, but he was literally on the test flight phase for commercial um commercial spaceships yeah. like to you know you pay you uh, fifty thousand dollars <laughs> and you can go to space like i don't even know why anybody would want to do that i'm all I'm, set I'm I'm good, yeah. unless i'm an astronaut i'm not trying to go to space yeah i'm good i'm not trying to go to space like the dude who jumped out of the balloon there but wouldn't you be like interested to see like the moon or anything else. Oh, I can yeah, see yeah, that yeah. from here. No, I'm, I'm good. No, I'm very interested in stuff like that. Like, I love astronomy. I'm a real nerd when it comes to stuff like that. Yeah. But when you're talking about a commercial flight to space, then I'm not an astronaut, and I'm not trained for it, and I don't need to go. And then the dude there, the, the, the Red Bull guy who jumped out of the air balloon just <laughs> inside the atmosphere like yeah. crazy like there's certain things, you know, I like space. Oh, and yeah, I know what you're, you're talking, talking about. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What? what, what, what? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Like, it looked like he was in space when he jumped out the thing. <laughs> <He did. laughs> like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Yes. But that's, you know, that's what we that's what we get into. I mean, we're going to get to the point where it's all going to be virtual reality. Nobody interacting with each other. Like, I have never in my life seen something like dapping people up just die as fast as it, as it has. People don't even dap each other up. Yeah. Fist, fist, bow. Yeah. Fist, bow. I'm not, uh, today, I didn't even dap anybody. I just, I, don't, I was just like, I just gave a little nod. Yo, what up? <laughs> just one of these. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, no, I, I, I typically do that all the time anyways. But now it's just more than ever. And I usually did it just as a way, because I don't know, y'all young folks do all these weird things with your fingers and all that when y'all see each other. So, <laughs> yeah, y'all, do, y'all go out your minds with that anyway. So, I just kind of do the piss the the, 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 the fist, fist pump, pump. Mm-hmm. yeah you know what i'm saying i, I kind of just do that anyways but now yeah. it's like it's just what it is because mm-hmm. nobody is even trying to touch hands anymore so mm-hmm. yeah and we're already getting to that stage where it's like uh oh it's yeah it's like 105 <laughs> yeah we gotta leave um but it's like it's already getting to that stage like people are already being like we gotta shut down all communications yeah. from everybody like you can't be yeah. like that's how it is, man. People, it's, again, just keep circling back to that word, man. Mass hysteria. Mm. Well, I guess that's two words. Mass, that phrase. Yeah. Mass hysteria. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So, I mean, that's what it is. Maz, you got a you got a jet right now? Yeah, Maz, you got to go. I don't have to go. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, no. Because my teacher's not here. Oh, all right. So, all right, good. Then, we're chilling, we're chilling. See, coronavirus got everybody. You know, <laughs> see, because of there the coronavirus, go, right. we're able to keep the three of us on the mic right now <laughs> and continue the show. So, I guess it does have some good things, you know? Yeah. It lives on. Yeah, yo, you know, always look at the bright side of things. <laughs> yeah, have to. What class is next, anyways? I don't even G period. F- G. This G yeah. period right now. I got physics, but I know nobody's in there. I have 
uh, English, but my teacher's not here, so. Oh, you do you have a you have a uh, yeah you have a freshman seminar. His yeah. least favorite class. Uh, it's all right, you know. It's it's not that it's my least favorite class. It's just I don't really understand the class. Like, yeah. what is the point? What is a freshman seminar? Freshman yeah. seminar class at the like, end of, at near the ending of freshman year. Yeah, when I was no, nah, I mean I've been I've been teaching them since the start of the year. Oh, yeah. I just it's my second class. group right here, uh-huh. but it's like just the things that we teach them. I mean, me personally, I I try to teach them. You know, current events and and financial literacy and things that I think they should know, anyways. But for the most part, it just kind of seems like. Can I just say something real quick? Yeah. This is why I don't have topics ready because you could just branch off into other topics. Mm-hmm. It's kind of how just, podcasts work sometimes. Though. It's just easy to branch into other things, though. But you you kind of have to have the topics as the groundwork because if you didn't, then most of the time, like right now, we're just talking because we're talkers anyways yeah. but if we didn't have a plan we'd be sitting here staring at each other and, it, and we <laughs> yeah. probably would have ended the podcast uh yeah probably about 10 minutes ago probably only got five minutes anyways we're already up to 26 minutes so Damn, okay time flies yeah. when you're having fun man you know course, what i'm saying yeah, yeah. i mean especially you got just nice new equipment in here so yeah. you know makes it a little bit more comfortable yeah. when you don't got to hold on to a mic for 30 minutes I, all right that was a shot at me but <laughs> <laughs> whatever everybody's got their uh Everybody's got their ways of doing things. You know what? Not for nothing. I think my door is locked, so let me uh, go out here real quick. All right. We got you. We got you. Do, 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 do. It's like intermission. <laughs> That's crazy, though. Coronavirus. It's stupid. I don't know. And the NBA was just starting to get real crazy, too. I know. This was like one of the best seasons that they've had. It really has been. I'm just trying to see what's going on in Twitter. Yeah, Twitter is wild right now. Yeah, I know. Twitter's like the worst place to be. <laughs> it's a it's a cesspool. Mm-hmm. Man. I just want to know what the national emergency is. Like, I just want to know, like, what's going on. You know what I mean? I don't know, man. I think the national emergency is people are getting really scared about whatever's going on and you it it doesn't help when you have the government kind of playing it up so that just makes people even more nervous about what's going on but i mean again i'm it's not gonna stop me from living my life the way i want to live it you know what i'm saying the only thing that i would say is i'll be upset if they cancel out school because that would hurt me in my pockets but other than that man i mean i'm gonna keep living my life the way i live it i'm not stopping for nothing i should be the only one here that really doesn't care if they cancel school, because I don't got to make anything up, Maz has to make stuff up because he's not graduating this <laughs> year. And you get paid, so you got to be here. That don't mean I want to be here until July, though. No, I know, obviously. Yeah, there's multiple, like, yeah, <laughs> things that... I'd like to get out early June, mid-June. Mid-June. Yeah, I got, no, I got no problem with that. Do you want to cancel school for a month? Do it. I don't care. That's all right. You, you going into the real world, I so... Know this, yeah, well, yeah, that's just a faster... <laughs> You're going to be wishing yeah. you had school next year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't even worried about what you talking about over there. <laughs> I already know how our next conversation is going to go after you graduate. You're going to come back in here and do a show one day, and you're going to see where we at, and you're going to be like, man, I miss this, man. I wish I, I was back t- in school. I already, see, I already said it, though, before we started recording that, like, I'm mad that I got to graduate this year because, you know... It's one thing to have said it already, but it's another thing to be living through it and oh, actually yeah. mean it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and actually what see what goes on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know how many times I've heard that? I've had conversations with seniors and, oh, man, I can't wait to graduate. I can't wait to get out of here. And I'll be yeah. like, all right, man, you better stop saying that because <laughs> you, you're going to miss it. And then a year later, yo, I miss it so much. I miss high school so much. Yeah, yeah I bet. I bet I missed high school right up until I started working here again. <laughs> now I don't miss it because I get to relive it every day. So this is the best time of your life. I'm sorry. There's no other time in your life like high school. You don't have any responsibilities. You don't really, you're not held accountable for a lot of your actions. You know, I mean, as you get older, senior year you are, but like you just, this is your last chance to kind of just not care about anything and just do whatever. And once it's over, it's over. Yeah. Like, there ain't no going back. You know what I'm saying? So, I be telling people all the time, man, you better enjoy this. Yeah, enjoy that's, why, this. that's why I'm mad about, like, the whole corona- coronavirus thing. Because, like, I'm I'm about to be in college next year, and this is still going to be going on. Like, it's going to take a while for this to stop. Everybody's been saying it's going to get worse before it gets I don't better. I know. I don't know if it's going to be going into next year. No, nah, not, not nah. next year. They're not going to have a vaccine for the next 18 months. 
Trust me, they got a vaccine already. No, yeah, for the rich people, vaccine. not for us. That's all that matters, though. Yeah. Once the rich people get all the vaccine and they're all set and things balance themselves out, then they'll forget about it and move on to the next thing. Mm-hmm. I guess. Uh, then next year we'll be talking about another yep. another, another virus. Yep. Next yeah. year we'll be talking about Modelo virus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Red stripe virus. Yeah. I don't actually know that one. I'm not in. Uh, it's the Jamaican beer. I don't know. I don't. You, why do you? The Heineken that? virus. The he- yeah, the Heineken virus. It doesn't. Sound Watch that catchy. virus. Watch you sit. The- That's a good beer, actually. <laughs> you guys wouldn't know that though. Not no. yet. I will never. Me either. Cannot. So, anyways, we're at thirty minutes. Okay. We're so, gonna wrap this up. I got yeah. a bunch of uh, freshmen in there just waiting for good old Mister Link to come in there <laughs> yeah. and tell him what to do. So, yep. yeah, we're gonna leave it at that. We All right, Mister Callahan. Thank you very much for having us. Yeah, I got you. you. Of course, anytime. I'm 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 all for multiple guests. I've been waiting for this. Hey, man, like I said, you just had to give me some time to, you know, at yeah. one point we was passing mics around. We had one low mic, some yeah. lavalier mics, yeah. wireless mics. Now yeah. we're doing it big now, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We got the big time. We got the podcast table with the low producer chair. You know oh. what I'm saying? Like, we was up in here live earlier. I know. You know oh, what I mean? So fun. Multiple cameras. Yeah, we doing it, man. Yeah. We're doing it. That's all. But anyways, good luck. Fellas, the rest of the way, um, hopefully I'll see you on Monday because, uh, I'm again, I'm not really trying to lose out on any of my money. So yeah. thank you for having us again, Jack. Maz, I will see you. See and uh, I guess that'll do it for us here. All right. Peace. Peace.